Welcome to the Smartboard Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition. This is the Smart Survival Guide, and this episode is Notebook 11 at a glance. Smart Notebook is the program that ships with, or that you get access to when you have a smart board, or any smart product for that matter, because Smart Notebook is the hub of all the smart products. Notebook 11 is the newest version as of September 2012. So here we're going to quickly, this is just a quick overview and then other videos will go into each one. The adaptive toolbar. So here's your toolbar up here and you can see it's divided into actions, the tools, and then the properties. And the adaptive toolbar just means that as you select a tool, the properties show up that you can change the color, the line style, the opacity, the shape for the shape tool, etc. Like I said, we'll go into that more specifically in another video. So there's your toolbar. Tabs. What are the tabs? The tabs are these. Now you may or may not have, sorry, everything is running slowly because of trying to record this here. You may or may not have all of these because of what you have installed, but you have the page sorter. So for a multiple page file, this is where you can navigate between pages, skipping pages, etc. The gallery, this is where there are pre-loaded graphics that come with Smart Notebook when it's installed. The attachments. You can attach PDF files, video links, things that you use in a lesson file so you can keep them all together. The properties similar to the properties part of the adaptive toolbar this is another way, this is the old way, so if you don't have Notebook 11, if you still have an older version, this is where you'll change the color of an object, text, etc. New in Notebook 11 is the Activity Builder. Um, and again, we'll have separate videos for those, how, to, how those work. And then if you have Smart Response, the clickers, if you have that software installed, you'll have your smart response tab. Now you'll see here on mine, my tabs are here on the right of my screen. They don't have to stay there. To customize the toolbar and the tab positions, you're going to look for these arrows. Here's the one for your left to right. So when I click that, you'll notice that now my tabs are over here. So it depends on where you, you know, when you're standing right or left handed, when you're presenting, whatever's more comfortable for you, you can put those tabs wherever you want, left or right. You also have <clears throat> excuse me, the top to bottom, by default it's up at the top, but if you have younger students, and you may want to put them down at the bottom of the board so they can easily access the tools when they come to the board. Uh, so that's what I've always done. When I have it with my students, I have it at the bottom. And you can change it whenever you need to. And finally, the most important arrow is your select tool. That was supposed to be small and get bigger. I had it already set. The select tool up here. For example, after you go and you select a shape tool and you create a shape now you want to move that shape. If you're up at the board, notice that I still have the crosshair. When I tap again to move, some, oh, I'm just going to keep creating shapes. I can't get off that. 
so I go back over and click the select arrow and now I can select an object move it use the drop down menu for other options etc so that's smart notebook 11 at a glance we have monthly Spurgvug meetings, Smart Board Revolution Global Virtual User Group meetings around the first of each month. Go to smartboardrevolution.ning.com for more information, time, and how to access those. Those are also recorded, so uh, you can also find the archive to watch the past year's worth of, of meetings. So in other videos will talk specifically about the tools and how to use them. We'll look more specifically at the gallery and the attachments and the properties and the activity builder.